Hello everyone, it's me right back here on your screen. My name is Ini and you are watching Parenting with Ini where we get to navigate through parenting together. How is that, right? It's the right place to be, I can tell you for sure. So welcome back to today. Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about colic in babies. Do you want to know more about what I have to say about colic? Then keep watching this video. In the meantime, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also share my video to your contacts. I'll really appreciate it. I'll be right back in a few seconds. back to today's video we'll be talking about colic in babies have you ever experienced colic in your baby if you are a parent if you have please leave it in the comment section if you haven't also please leave that in the comment section because there are babies who do not have colic and there are some that have colic okay so colic is not something that happens to all the babies all right apparently for me with my two lovely babies, I have experienced colic in them. The first baby had colic and the experience was really, really, really bad. Why? Because we had zero idea and information and knowledge about colic and what to do about it. But with our second baby, we kind of felt we had a bit of some understanding and idea or knowledge on how to handle it. And so it did not last for now. Most people will tell you that colic lasts for like three months. Yeah, the first three months of the baby's life. If the baby has colic, you will definitely experience it for about three months. Some people will tell you that. You will also hear things like it happens mostly in the night when now it's time for the baby to sleep. It's time for you as a parent to sleep. And then the baby is not able to sleep. The baby is crying, you know, screaming and probably straightening, straightening their legs, you know, just crying. And ah, it's over. It's just, it's just exhausting. You could also hear things to, like the baby will cry for like hours, like three hours or for some hours. And later on is when they're able to sleep, you know. Now that's colic. Colic happens like that you someone might be in here and just wondering what are you talking about what is colic <laughs> colic i'll explain it based on the experience i had hmm? colic is when your baby seem to be fine throughout the day and then in the night when the time comes to be sleeping the baby is literally crying helplessly crying Whatever you do, if you like feed the baby, change diaper, make sure the baby is warm, the baby is still crying. The baby is not able to sleep. The baby is just crying, you know, screaming. And um, at some point you find the baby is trying to straighten the legs and the hands and all that. It's just so uncomfortable and unbearable for the baby. The baby just cries, especially in the night. Okay. That is the experience that we had with our children that we got to know this is definitely colic, okay? You really can't help the baby at that time. Breastfeeding cannot help. Diaper changing cannot help. And then finally, they're able to get some sleep, okay? That is colic. So are you experiencing colic? Are you a parent out there and you're currently experiencing colic with your baby? Then I hope this video will really help you. Like I mentioned earlier on, I have experienced colic with two of our babies and it was not a funny experience. With our first child, we were so green, we did not even know what this whole thing was about. And so we called our pediatrician who um, recommended a particular medication for us to take. It's called Infacol. I don't know if you've heard about it, but yes, it's known to help manage colic because it doesn't stop it completely i discovered it only manages colic right yes so if a baby has colic and you're looking for a way on how to navigate through it and you know help the baby out of it 
I would advise you start with yourself, especially if you're breastfeeding. Start from you as a mother. You need to reduce on food that has gas because I believe colic, the main cause of colic is gas, excess gas. That's why you hear someone tell you, you need to bath the baby and bath the baby well, okay? Yeah, you need to bath the baby and bath the baby well and avoid overfeeding the baby and also underfeeding the baby, okay? Just let the baby have enough portion of food, you know, per feeding and also bath the baby very well, okay? To remove the, the gas. Also, watch on what you eat as a parent, especially as a mother, because whatever you're eating, you're passing it onto your baby through the breast milk, okay? So avoid food that has gas. It will really help your baby, all right? Then if you can eat carrot frequently, it will really help because um, carrot helps a lot when it comes to gas, okay? So you can take, um, take carrot as frequent as possible. That will really, really help. Also, remember to drink water, okay? Take your water drinking more seriously. Now, that's when it comes to the food and what you take as well as also for the baby. Now, in the night when the baby starts crying, and you have your partner, your husband, okay, um, around, you can always allow your husband to help you um, put, lay the baby on his chest and just tap the baby on the back or rock the baby on the back. It helps soothe the baby. You discover that after a few minutes, your baby will actually sleep. Yeah, because it suits them and they'll be able to sleep and at least all of them will be able to have some sleep. Okay, yeah. The reason why I wouldn't say you as a mother is because obviously your chest isn't flat. Yeah, so it wouldn't be that comfortable for the baby as the chest of the father. So if the father is around, let the father help you. Lay the baby on his chest and tap the baby on the back or just rock the baby's back. It really helps soothe the baby and the baby will eventually be able to be calm and sleep. And that's how you go through the night. <laughs> yeah if the father is not around you just need to identify a, a flat surface a flat but comfortable surface for the baby put the baby on on the back especially if the umbilical cord is healed remember that if the umbilical cord is healed you can put your baby on the back or, or on their stomach sorry but if the umbilical cord is not healed please do not try to put the baby on the stomach so let's talk about if the umbilical cord is healed. So you have a flat surface that is comfortable, just put the baby on the stomach and tap the baby on the back, rub the baby on the back. It, it, the baby, it will suit the baby, the baby will eventually get calm and be able to sleep. And that's how you both will be able to sleep throughout the night. So that is it about colic that I would like to share with you because that's what we learned. Though at the late stage of it for our first baby, and now when we noticed it starting with our second baby, we're able to apply these things and it worked for us. So our first baby had um, a longer period of that he had with colic, but the second baby did not have colic for too long and it ended. Okay, so I felt I should share that tip with you. Hopefully it will help. Avoid gas food that is, is high. Avoid food that has gas. Take in a lot of of carrot as frequent as possible remember your water drinking very very important and now for the baby always ensure you bath the baby after every feed okay and then do not overfeed your baby or underfeed your baby when the baby is crying in the night ensure to put the baby on a flat so, um, um, comfortable surface or your partner's chest because it's flat and let the partner just tap or rock the baby's back and the baby will be calm after a few minutes and they will be able to sleep. So just finding a way to navigate through it, you know, work it out and help your baby as well as help yourself throughout that period of colic is what we are talking about, okay? Yes, and before you know what's happening, the impact of the colic will start reducing and eventually it will go away and the baby will be able to be free from colic.
how is that i hope this video has helped you let me know in the comment section let me know your experience with colleague if you had that and how did you navigate through it so that we can all learn together i've just shared how we we handled it with our children all right so give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it please leave a comment in the comment section share this video to as many people as possible because it is very important for us to grow right and subscribe to this youtube channel if you've not yet done so i'll see you in my next video until then stay positive always and bye remember to take care of your children they are the future.